the monthly rankings are really about what colleges can give back to the country. Um, and uh, that's pretty different from what other rankings, particularly the US News and World Report rankings are looking at. Um, like Kevin Carey, our policy director, likes to say the US News rankings are more about uh, wealth, prestige, and exclusivity. Whereas the Washington Monthly College Guide uh, focuses a lot more on how inclusive colleges are. And one of the biggest measures is of social mobility, which is basically how well colleges do in enrolling and graduating low-income students. So are they kind of serving their social mission of uh, providing an avenue for students to move up the economic ladder in the country? And then another um, important measure that the Washington Monthly looks at is the research productivity at institutions. So it's uh, basically a measure of how well colleges are doing and contributing to the economy through the research that they're producing and also uh, whether or not they're graduating students who uh, get their PhD and go on and produce their own research, which can contribute to the economy. And then finally, and probably one of the more unique aspects of the rankings is the service measure, which uh, really no other rankings look at. And that's basically looking at how well colleges do in fostering and promoting an ethic of service on their campus, and then whether or not the alumni of colleges go on and do things like uh, participate in the Peace Corps and serve in the Army after graduation.